My name is Caroline Aipili. I'm from Iqaluit, born and raised. Uh, we are here in New York Sound today, traditionally known as Iqigasaq Juak, which means large inlet. There's a long little stretch of beach where people camp. It's sandy and rocky in a way. You clear out your way to make your tent space. And behind us, there's a harbor where you can park your boat from the prevailing wind, and so you're more sheltered on the harbor here. Not a lot of people get to come out here. It's, it's quite a ways down, and you know, you see sandbars all over the place. You see glaciers, you see sharp hills. Nice clear water, you know, glacier water. An ocean right behind us that smells amazing of salt. You see tradition, you see this is where a lot of people used to come fish back then and this is a trail route that my ancestors had used back then too. They knew that this place was a place to fish. The quality of the fish was great. We are fishing by rod and we're setting up nets in case we don't catch any fish. So rod and net fishing today, or this whole weekend that we're here. My dad's always fished. We grew up with my dad setting nets all the time, and rotting wasn't a thing. You, you took your time, you set the nets, that's where you got your fish. And if you're rotting, you're wasting time, and you, know, you might not even catch any fish. So my dad never put any time into rotting, and I've always wanted to fish. I feel that's where I gained you know, wanting to fish and wanting to be independent and wanting to ex experience that. I caught that fish and I get to go and feed my family with it. I came here to York Sound with my son, Ethan. He's 13 and it means a lot for me to have him here. You know, the whole boat ride here is, it's an experience for my son to see how to get here. He's learning the landscape. He's learning how to navigate. You know, I get to tell him the stories that my dad just told me about the significance of this area of his ancestors and his grandparents coming here to fish. It's an educational experience he'll probably never forget. It's meaningful. You know, my ancestors were here and tried to try to rethink of, you know, what did they do here? How did they feel here? And it's it's something I can't describe but very grateful for. I feel at peace. I feel gratitude and a sense of pride that, you know, we live in such a beautiful place and it's, you can't compare it to anything else. It's because it's so far away from the normal traffic route of the Khalwi. You could see very healthy caribou. You could see polar bear, you could see belugas, uh, seagulls and loons and all kinds of wildlife. Over the past two to three years now, they have reported that the landscape's changing, like the glaciers are starting to become smaller. There's more vegetation. They haven't been catching as many fish as before. I'm hoping, you know, people harvest sustainably and not overfish, leaving some for the future and also for the reproduction of the fish. You're here because the land is here to give and you give back in the ways that are respectable and sustainable. I hope for the future that my, my boys can utilize this area. Come and enjoy and take in all the beauty and the whole reasons why this place is a whole different world in a way.